All right, well, greetings, everybody. This is the It's Covered podcast because if you think insurance is boring, then you are not doing it correctly. I am Paul. I am here joined by Mel. Mel hello, hello, on. hello. How you doing, Paul? Sure. So, um, some of you might be watching us right now. It's a little creepy to say. Very creepy. You, know? you guys look crazy. <laughs> um... We are we are starting to try to to video uh, video these recordings as well, which is going to you know uh, not give me as much room to edit out all my ums, and so that's going to be awkward. I'm gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to like you know like know what we're talking about the first time instead of like saying, hold on, let me <laughs> let me Google that. Don't worry, we'll edit this out so we don't appear like idiots. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. So uh, actually, we don't know if this hello. Uh, we don't know if this video is going to come out um, all that well. So this one might not have a video, but that's 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 the hope. Uh, and I, I do apologize. I sprung this on you. Yep. Today. That's I was right. Like, okay, I've got. It. We, we're bringing all the equipment up so that we can record a couple of episodes here. Yep. You got it all set up, and I'm like, by the way, we're videoing this. Yes. Uh, and you look pretty. Thank you. Gretchen told me that this morning as well. I said, thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, uh, you know, there, there's something that I want to cover that was drilled into us in claims. Yep. And still people didn't get it. But it was not drilled into the agencies as much, I don't feel like. And that is how we document a file. Oh, yes. And the reason it's hammered in claims is because when, when an insurance company gets sued for bad faith, very often the attorney for, for the, the plaintiff, which is the other person that's suing the insurance company will try to get a hold of the claim file. Including right. all the claim notes. Now, sometimes they're successful and sometimes they are not. You know, uh, the, uh, the attorneys for the insurance company will claim, Hey, no, that's work product and work product is apparently not admissible in court. I don't, I'm an insurance guy, man. I don't, I don't have the foggiest clue. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Long story short, sometimes it's admit, admitted, sometimes it's not. But you don't know in beforehand what's going to be admitted, what's not going to be admitted. Right. And so they taught us, don't just say whatever you want to say in the file, thinking that this is all going to go well, that no one will ever see it except you and, and your friends because you pointed out to them. It's like, hey, take a look at what I put in the file. <laughs> that That's not going to work. And that, and these things do come out in court sometimes. And so it looks really bad on the insurance company to have a file note projected, you know, by PowerPoint on a screen and you're in the witness stand and say, can you please explain why you called my customer, my client a fricking moron? Yeah. That's one of those things that uh, whenever they tell you that, you try to imagine it and you just can't. And you're like, whatever. They're just paranoid yes. until they call you in for a meeting and uh, they're showing anonymous entries into the system. And you find out one of those is yours and they start pointing out yes. how bad that could be. Yes. Those meetings are amazing until <laughs> it's your file notes. Yes. Then. Which none of them were. Uh, <laughs> I, I did not. I did not get one on the screen, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, but, but I ran across some and, uh, and, and agents don't tune out on me. Don't tune out on me. Cause, cause I want to, I want to bring this to us, but we ran across one and I, this was not my file. I know, I know the person who handled this file, uh, which is how I got to see it. But when the file was first opened, this guy, our customer in this, in this, uh, in this accident, um, was I, you know, I'm not a psychologist, but he was, there was clearly, there's clearly some problems. 
think that's a safe way to say it. it was clearly some problems. Yes. And, um, and, you know, and, and dealing and, and trying to help him was, was a challenge for, for my friend. And I say my friend, you know her too. I guess. Yes. <laughs> but when, when this claim was first opened, our, the, the, the processor who made the initial phone call, you know, kind of got wind that something was amiss mm-hmm. and, um, and started, you know, trying to, trying to kind of give everybody the heads up. Yeah. And so she got on the phone with the adjuster on the file and said, Hey, um, yeah, this guy, this guy, you know, this is, this is going to be a special case. And the adjuster, and this adjuster is, uh, is not one we, that we know. She, she was on the file just, just briefly, but she put in the file that the processor called her and, and the processor stated that she believes our customer is insane. Huh. And it's really frustrating because like the processor did the right thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, Hey, just giving you a heads up, not doc, you know, look, we're not psychologists. We, we are not able to diagnose that this, but at the same time, when you talk to this person, it's going to be a challenge. And so heads up, this is what's coming. And, and the adjuster was like, oh, well, every, and I, there are, there are a few people and claims that are just, you know, but just really every conversation that we discuss about this claim must be documented even though it has nothing to do with anything. And so if somebody calls me and says, Hey, I think our customer is, is a little Looney Tunes. I've got to put that in the file. Yeah. And you don't have to put in the file quite like that. Right. You can put, you can, and this, and this is where, this is where we need to learn the language. Uh, that just like, you know, and, oh, and well, let me ask you, how, how would you word that? If you want to communicate that our customer is a taco short of a combo plate. Yes. Well, I think, uh, you think taco when putting short it, of a combo plate is a, is a good way of, well, I, I gathered the meaning and, uh, <laughs> and that's where it should stay between us verbally yeah. about the, uh, but, but, the, if, the but if you had, but if you had to put in there, like, okay, like, let's just say, let's just say mm. this is pertinent to the claim because this person's mental state mm. is preventing us from moving forward in the claim. Right. And he's not understanding some stuff because he doesn't seem capable to, you know? Right. And so how do we word this? Well, I think a good effective I put him on tool. The spot on that. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think a good effective tool is to um quote the yes. customer. Yeah, that's that's really good. So uh quoting what the customer says and whoever's reading it can gather their <laughs> own uh opinion about what was said. Yeah. So I would uh uh say I was having a little trouble understanding the customer. Oh, I don't yeah. think the that's customer good. understood what I was saying. I said this customer replied with this. Yeah. And that, that's really effective. In fact, um, you know, we, we ran across some file notes in that same file yeah. by a friend of ours, diff- another different friend. Right. You know, you, you kind of make friends when you're in claims. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. You know all the people in this file, but, right. um, uh, where, where it was, it was magnificent. It was magnificent. The, these, these particular file notes. I wish I could show them to you because they were <laughs> great. Uh, um, and, uh, yeah, and, and just so you know, I've, I've I've told Melvin a little bit about this file, but uh, but but he was, he you didn't you never had the pleasure of of like reading it. No, I yeah. didn't. I I I, I mean, hearing about it, I I wish I did because uh, yeah. Well, and obviously that stuff that we're fun. not going we're not going to talk about it, you know on the podcast, but right. um, but you know, one of our friends was very good at very good at at communicating the point without you know without saying the words himself and he in and, and he did a lot through quoting some other people in the file you know just expressed like um that um you know i i don't believe that the 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 customer um was able to understand what i was saying you know he, he kept changing the subject that sort of thing and so there there are ways to talk about this and and here's here's where i want to i want to kind of bring it 
bring it over to the agent side too, because we have file notes too. You know, um, we have, uh, you know, most, most of us are digital now, mm-hmm. but we, we, we have, we have some sort of digital of some program, some app that is keeping track of our customers that we can notate. Right. And it is very good to notate because as, as we always said in claims, you know, if it's not noted, it didn't happen. Right. You know, and right. so we can talk all day long about, you know, well, no, they, you know, they, they said that they're, they didn't want rental coverage. Really? When was that? Well, I didn't write it down. Okay. It didn't happen. Right. Um, and so, uh, documentation is very, very good, but you also need, uh, need to be diplomatic about what you write because you, if somebody is, if somebody is coming after you for one reason or another and that person's attorney wants that file, you know, your, your attorney might be able to keep it out of court, but you don't know that. And you do not want some of these file notes projected on a screen in front of a jury. <laughs> and, and, you know, some, some attorneys say, you know, uh, Mr. Mel, is there some reason that you said about my client? He's an ass getting butt hurt about his claim. <laughs> <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and try to explain that with no liquor in you. Right. <laughs> well, what happened was, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. It just, you know, it, it if there's, if, the, you know, I, and we all, we all hope that juries decide cases based on fact and not emotion. Uh, look a little deeper into clear criminal de- justice and you're going to find that is not the case. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, that, that's going to just make you look really bad in front of a jury and they, they might decide to take it out on you. Uh, that has happened many, many, many times before. And so we want to look professional no matter who is looking at our file notes, who, no matter what, I know, um, uh, we've, We've run across some file notes, um, not made by us, but we're, right. we're, um, we're in, you know, uh, some, something that we, we, we read either we got the, we, we got the policy later or somebody who came through our office that, you know, it's just, it's one of the things like, well, I'm glad this customer's going well because yeah, apparently, you know, I, I, another, another agent working on, on it. Uh, just went off about how much of temper this person has, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, or <clears throat> see, that's exactly the kind of thing that I would edit out of the audio podcast. It's much harder on the video. <laughs> oh. Um, or, you know, or, uh, just, you know, and, 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 and when we're in danger of, of violating this is when we we're getting upset at the customer. Yeah. I mean, there, there's no, at no point is that I don't think is it beneficial to anyone, because if you're going to tell me that the customer is a jerk, um, by the time I'm looking at the file, I already know that. That's true. That's usually true. So uh, yeah. it, it's never helping when I'm trying to scour for the facts mm-hmm. on certain information. And I have to read you whining about how you put up with the customer before. I just want to know the fact because I'm dealing with the customer now and whatever, whatever problem he has with, you know, our company or the situation or anything like that. So it it just, I've never seen it help um, just to find it funny at some points when we're not dealing with a problem. Right. Right. And, and, you know, and the, Especially in claims, the file notes are permanent. Yeah. You can't delete them. That's right. You know, depending on the program that we're using in the agency, they might be deletable. But then again, you don't have documentation of that phone call from the time that it happened. And so that's, wow, goodness, that's, you know, weighing it out. But, um, you know, it's, it, it's a heavy temptation when you've hung up that phone after dealing with some ass who's butthurt about something. And to just, just 
you know, take it out on the file note. I can't believe what this jerk wad is saying. Yeah. You know, and, and it's, it's just in cases like that, that, you know, I, I would much more recommend that you get up and go talk to a coworker that you trust. It's not going to stab you in the back later. <laughs> um, <laughs> rather than, rather than, than do it that way. Yeah. Because I, I mean, and, and that, you know, that's, that's the file notes that we come across, you know, being unreasonable. You know, I, I explained it 12 times. He's, he's, he's not understanding he's some sort of idiot, you know, and, uh, just, just long term, even if it doesn't land in court, when, when we're coming back, it, we, you know, it's now three years later and we're dealing with the same customer about a problem and I'm looking over the file notes. That doesn't help me. All right. You know, the facts of your call might, you know, that, and that's why we document it is because it's very important to know the facts of, of a call. Yeah. And so, um, that's just, uh, that's kind of our encouragement for today is, uh, is watch what we're putting in, in the file notes, because you do not know who's going to be reading them later. It might be a jury. It might be someone down the line who's trying to help the same customer and is, is trying to dig through your rants. Yeah. Just to find that, that one piece of good information that they need. And, uh, you know, vent your frustration in a different way that, um, that is not going to land in front of somebody else's eyes. Years down the road and encourage your coworkers to do the same thing. Um, if mm. someone gets off the phone and they're pretty mad and you just hear them typing away at the keyboard, just kind of let them know, Hey, uh, you just may want to calm down before you start putting those entries in, right. uh, because, uh, yeah. you, you want, you want to be professional, um, Read down the road when you're not as mad, right. um, you, you know, you just want to to treat the the customer proper because we all have insurance and we all come across problems. So we don't want it done to us. Just yep. Don't do it to others. Exactly. Exactly. So I think that about covers it. Uh, we really do. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you would, if you are enjoying the, the program, please do take a moment to rate and review us, uh, on, on, iTunes or Google Play or, or whatever, uh, wh- wherever you are listening, uh, listening to our, to our program, whatever pod, uh, cast catcher you are, you are listening to. If you are catching us on YouTube or on our Facebook group, you know, please do, uh, please do subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. And, um, and we will be back next week with another topic. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. See ya.